What up, what up, I Slim Hit Squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy, Sean. And your girl, Mel. All right. Welcome um, to S&M Squad. We How back. are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, have you having a rough day out there? We're here to turn around with some good energy plus some good content, guys, trying to Most bring definitely. you guys the best content yes. that we can find, all right? Most definitely. So, my lovely wife, who do we have today? What's going on in the world? All right, so today we'll be reacting to Eminem introduces Barack Obama at Kamala Harris's rally in Detroit. Whoa, Nelly! Wow, I did not know they Eminem. They are bringing out the big guns, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> What's supporting Kamala? I did not know that. You learn something new every day. All right, so guys, before we get into it, make sure you smash that like button, give this video a big fat thumbs up, and also turn on all notifications. Here we go. Let's go. He's one of my favorite rappers, man. I love him. Here we go. Detroit. <laughs> what up, though? <laughs> so, look, I wrote down a few things I wanted to say. I love you, too. Thank you. I'm here tonight for a couple of important reasons. As most of you know, the city of Detroit and the whole state of Michigan mean a lot to me. Okay. And going into this election, the spotlight is on us more than ever, and I think it's important to use your voice. So I'm encouraging everybody to get out and vote, please. I also think that people shouldn't be afraid to express their opinions. And I don't think anyone wants an America where people are worried about retribution or what people will do if you make your opinion known. Right. I respect that. I think Vice President Harris supports a future for this country where these freedoms and many others will be protected and upheld. And here to tell you much more about that, President Barack Obama. Wow. to the air baby let's go you know I, I have done a lot of rallies so I don't usually get nervous but I was feeling some kind of way following Eminem and I notice my palms are sweaty knees weak arms are heavy vomit on my sweater already mom's spaghetti I'm nervous, but on the surface, I look calm and ready to drop bombs, but I keep on forgetting. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What in the world? Oh, man. Wow. Dun, 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 What in the world? I thought Eminem was going to be performing. I was going to jump out. Wow! <laughs> Love, love me some Eminem. Wow. Wait President. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my wow. goodness. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Well, what I can say about it is. <laughs> that was a lie. That, you know, <laughs> they will appeal to, like, the children. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, <laughs> they're pulling out the big young guns, like people. you said, because it's a lot of young people that follow Eminem. Most, of course, he got a he got a big fan base. So I think that was genius. What we just saw. I mean, they that they, was genius. They pulling it out. I mean, to get Barack to rap the lyrics to lose yourself. Yeah. That was, that was genius. That, that, that was that was brilliant that was on genius. Kamala's side. Um, they're representing her. They're pushing her. Because you have to understand. They're pushing her. You can't just appear to an older audience. You have to appear to everyone. Everyone. You have to appear to that 18-year-old. Yes. You have to appear to that 25-year-old. You have to appeal, appear to that... 36-year-old. Everyone. That 55-year-old. That 75-year-old. Exactly. That 80-year-old. So, they, they 
pulled out the big guns with that when I do give them that. Yes, they did. <laughs> and funny. at the end of the day, you know, they are voting for Kamala. You know what I'm saying? That's what they feel in their heart. That's what they feel in their mind. They feel like she can do a good job as commander in chief. And I respect that. Everyone should have their own opinion, like I said before in previous videos. But that's just not enough for me. Get yeah, I mean, that's just you, not. Hey, I'm not. I'm not convinced. the lyrics of lose yourself. Because like, you go get a rapper. It was funny and entertaining, but as far as like my everyday real life, like come on, like I'm not sold. I'm not convinced. You know, and a lot of Americans aren't falling for that. No, like, you're gonna have to come stronger than that for the American exactly. people to, you know. But it just seemed like she got more people on her side as far as the entertainers. Celebrities. Like, celebrities. Yeah, like the entertainers. Yeah. People who don't understand in their, you know, people who aren't living the everyday lives of right. the middle class. Right. They can't Especially speak Especially when you have people. high security and you living up in this big home. You don't yeah. worry about, you know, certain things. Yes. You know, as we are worried, we're worried about certain things. And um, people just got different point of views in their life because it just don't fit them. Most definitely. It doesn't fit their everyday yeah, life. Yeah, it, don't, it lives. just don't fit them. Like, you know, we all love Eminem. We love Eminem. You know, and I, I love the fact Eminem. that Barack just spit those lyrics. It's very it was nice. All that was good. But everyday but life. But that don't fix no problems. Securing the borders and, you know. That do not secure my vote. Um, the inflation is out of control. Like. I want to hear about those things. Yeah, I want to hear this about things that matter. This isn't a laughing, joking matter. It's really not. And like I said, the race is really tight. So, um, this don't really, you know, convince me to say, you know what, I'm going with them. Because you're pulling out the rappers, entertainers. And, you know, don't okay, get I me mean, wrong. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I mean, it was genius. They're working on that side. They're working. They're working as they should. I love watching it. Yeah, I mean. I'm not going to lie. I love watching it. it was, this is going to be a tight know, race. It's going to be tight. I think that you have to appear to a broad audience. Yeah. You know, there are children. Well, they seem like they're children to us because we're older. But 18-year-olds. Our children now are voting. They got to vote. We have three children who can vote now. They have voter cards. They got to vote. So, you know. You know it's good to appear to everyone. Exactly. Their voices count as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And um, you know, we we're gonna be saying you know different people coming out speaking for Kamala. I get it and I understand. You're gonna see some people speaking out for Trump, but it's to and the American the people future. to make their vote. Do you think Trump is really like capturing the audience of the? The teenagers that are voting, the younger adults, no, like they are the future, no, no. and I think that no. what they ha have to say matters. So I would like to see Trump step up as far as like, you know, letting the younger. Well, I I want to see people speak up for Trump. I have not seen it yet. I have not really seen people. Well, we have. Well. Oh, you're talking about like as far as like the entertainment. Yeah, I mean, like the entertainment is is. Like Eminem, well, you know. We Eminem, also had Eminem doesn't like Trump, like right, for years. Right, right, he right. I remember not. he does not I think agree he with had, Trump. Had a, like a diss track about Trump. Exactly. So and I, I mean, get it. I can understand Eminem not, you know, speaking up for Trump because he has always let it know. Yeah. Let it be known that you know he. I mean, this is this agree. is helping her campaign. This is really this is helping her. It is. You know, and I think. Obama is on the front line, helping her, um, and he's 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 calling some people. Um, I heard that Beyonce is going to be performing for her. A lot of people love Beyonce, so you know they're pulling out all the big cards. Yeah, but people like me aren't fooled by that. You know? No, that's I mean you have to let me no. know what are your plans. Yes, 
we to want to know down inflation to make the economy better to yes. help people like me uh, like us with a family right to b be able to become homeowners we want to see all this money the price of gas and groceries that's to being sent over waters to make us feel safe again to make our children feel safe again i don't want my kids coming home telling me horror stories about the immigrants coming to get them yeah because you know, kids are online now. They can see this. You know what I'm saying? And it's all over the news. That's not safe for the Americans. And I don't care what entertainer comes on and say this and say that. That does not change people's minds. Most definitely. It's time for us to get serious. Yeah, it's like, you know, the game is over. That's what Let's get American real. people want. They Let's want be real someone about who this. Will take their views and their troubles and you know their hardships exactly. to heart and not make it a game or make it you know like it's funny or, or like we can laugh like, at I'm, all. I'm just getting these people so I can get your vote. We don't want to be entertained. We want a solution. Exactly, and we want it now. We want it now. We deserve it to have it now. Most right now, this minute, you know what I'm saying? So, there it is. But, um, great job on that side because that was entertaining. It was, and I know a lot I of people gonna watching. say, Oh, you know what? Well, if Eminem is voting for her, I'm gonna vote for her. That's all that is about. And we're not but telling anyone who to vote for people that just need to wake up and have their own mind. I would never tell someone what to believe in. That is the fr that takes away the freedom of a, being an American. Exactly. You are free to vote for who you want to vote for, to believe, have your own belief system. Yes. I am not a dictator on here trying to dictate to people. And I'm just saying how I feel. My husband is saying how he feels As about we should. what's going on. And we don't As always we should. agree. We don't. We don't always agree. So. Because you might vote for Trump. I might vote for Kamala. And it will end. Might, you, know, you know, we just don't know. It is know. what it is. <laughs> you want to have a debate? No, I'm just playing. I mean, we can <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> but I just don't know now. It's well, like I, I, I'm, I'm just not sure. We I'm not. I'm freedom. not sure. We all can believe. And I'm just being it. honest. Want to believe it? I'm just not sure. And stop all the hate. Yeah, I mean the hate is terrible. The hate is stop getting the hate. way out of control. They pull up the dirtiest things on these candidates. Most definitely. The dirtiest things, you know what I'm saying? It's like they trying to get people, they trying to get into people's minds to win that vote. So they bring up anything. But I'm I'm not even talking about, you know, the people that is in, you know, in these posi the politicians or anything. I'm talking about the hate of the people. The right. everyday American. Oh my goodness. Once they see that you have a different belief system, they're ready to crucify you my goodness man goodness. like yeah take it easy take it easy <laughs> please take it easy you don't know my life because you don't know my struggle at the end of the day we're just you know a married usa yes. couple united states citizens you don't know That's the it. concern of my children and How we have you judge me we have been you know struggling with some things that's going on with our, you know, democracy. Yeah. And it's, Some things we just don't understand. I just have this to say, like, when my when our kids came home yesterday, I said, if you guys could vote, who would you guys vote for? Our two boys, right. Raylan and London. Yes. They are eight and nine years old, and they're both in the third grade. Right. Because, you know, in, in Maryland, they keep them behind the year if they're born... After Certain like time. September the fifth, right? So they're in this. They're both in the third grade, and I said, Braylon and London, if you guys could vote, who would you guys vote for? And they both said Trump. And I said, Why? Well, why would you vote for Trump? I just, I was curious, and I said, Why would you vote for Trump? And and they, oh my goodness, you would be surprised. Their response, These children man. are aware of what's going on. They both said. Well, the borders aren't safe, and we're afraid that bad people, gangs, will come over here and hurt us. If the kids know that, wow. Let's wake up, America. Let's wake up. 
let's wake up. You know, everyone should do their due diligence and do their research and, you know, whatever. But at the end of the day, right is right and wrong is wrong. I couldn't believe they, you know, I I was amazed. It's crazy. I was absolutely, like, stunned. I was like, oh, my goodness. They should always feel safe. How do kids? How children should feel safe. Ki- I didn't know kids were being affected by what's going on. I mean, this is this as is, much as they are. This is the biggest, um, you know, controversy that we ever going to have. We in the can United learn States. so much from children. <clears throat> yes, we can. We can learn so much from children. Yes, we can. They are the future. But this they is really are the big ones right now. Who we should truly be focused on. It's going to be the biggest race ever in United States history, I think, in my yes. opinion, because. Um, it's getting out of hand and the people want an answer. The people deserve an answer. The people deserve a a real dedicated yes. commander in chief. Most definitely. Alright. So guys, um go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and get inside the comment section. We want to know what you guys think. We appreciate you guys watching. Having a blast. Good content, man. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Alright. We signing off. It's your boy Sean. And your girl Mel. You already know, guys. All right, guys. Have an amazing day on purpose. On purpose. Peace. Peace.